So I just thought I'd uh, update an old video and show you how to set a static IP on a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian Buster. So I did this previously for Stretch uh, and I did it remotely over SSH. So this time I'm going to do it via local terminal. Um, you can do it over SSH, just later on in the process you'll need to reboot rather than uh, use a separate command to re-enable an interface. There's no real difference between the two. So anyway, let's get cracking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look up the IP address I currently have using ifconfig. Here you can see my uh, LAN address. There's no Wi-Fi enabled, so there's no Wi-Fi network on this machine at the moment. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and edit a configuration file. My edit of choice is nano, so I'm going to use that. So the file is slash etc slash dhcpcd.conf. And when we run that, you will find a file with some settings you need to scroll down and we are looking for this example static ip configuration they've handily left in to enable it basically we need to uncomment these lines uh, i'm only using ipv4 so i'm going to leave the ipv6 address alone for my network these settings are not valid so i need to change this to a, a lan ip address so in my case 3.230 i know is available and then i also need to update my uh, router and also the dns uh, you might also find an IPv6 address in here, which uh, it's up to you whether you want to use, but I have a pie hole running on the network, so I'm just going to insert that there. And then I'm going to save this file using uh, Control O, and then close that down. And then from here, we actually have two choices. So you can either do a sudo reboot, uh, and that will restart the machine. So if you're over SSH, that's uh, probably the better option. And then when it comes back up, you, you use a new IP address to uh, connect back to it. Uh, but because I'm local to the machine, I can do it a different way. So I can use this command. So sudo ip link set the interface, which is eth0. If I take it down, that basically disables the interface. And then if I do up again, that will bring it back up again. So saving the file is not enough to actually reset the IP stack and give it a new IP address. So if we now do an ifconfig, we should see that we have now statically assigned IP address. Yeah, it really is as simple as that. Thanks.